Hey guys, today we are going to do the Santa Fe chicken. And so this one's really awesome for you can put it in a tortilla, just normal, or you can put it in a lettuce wrap. So for me, it's a really nice option for my family because my kids or my husband don't really want to put their meat in a lettuce wrap. Um, they're not watching their carbs and they prefer the tortilla, but I can make one meal for all of us and then just have the option of tortillas or lettuce wraps. Anyway, we're going to start. <laughs> so first, always write on the bag first, so just so it can be flat and it's easy to write on. So I wrote Santa Fe chicken, maybe hard to sell. four to six hours on high or eight to ten hours on low. I actually wrote a little bit more than you probably need, but right after that it just says shred chicken and cook for 30 more minutes. And then underneath that is probably something I didn't need, but it just said serve. It, I just said serve with cilantro and green onions on top with a lettuce wrap or tortilla, just in case you didn't remember what you can put on top. I think I forgot to add cilantro leaves to the shopping list, but I can add that as well. I have some dried cilantro leaves, but I prefer fresh if I'm going to just be putting it on top. So first thing we're going to do. Here. When you do it in the crock pot, you can add your vegetables to the bottom of your crock pot first, but for freezing, you're going to put the chicken in the bag first, so when you dump it into the crock pot, your vegetables will be on the bottom. So one and a half pounds, it's about three chicken breasts. I guess I, I should have just written, wrote on the bag, <laughs> I had the chicken. That. Let me wash my hands. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is slice up the jalapeno peppers. So if you have gloves, wear them. I forgot to get gloves, so I'm going to wear these really old, sorry, dishwasher gloves, whatever they're really called, rubber gloves. I was going to throw them away, but I'm glad I kept them for one last thing. Trust me, jalapeno peppers, they just somehow get in your eyes, somehow get everywhere. So wear gloves if you can. Okay. So you only need half of a pepper. And honestly, if you don't like hot things, you can maybe even just leave the jalapeno pepper out. I'm not even going to save the other half because I hate having jalapeno peppers around. I always seriously seem to get it in my face and my eyes. So just cut it in half. You don't have to seed it. If you leave the seeds in, it will be hotter. But I always desire to cut the seeds out. I don't like everything really that hot. Okay, so looks like this way for this. Not the safest way to do this, but I didn't want to touch it. Okay, that part's done. I'm going to cut off that piece. I'll probably throw that part away. I don't want any seeds in mine. Okay. Cut these pretty small. Now just be careful you don't cut your rubber gloves. Okay. So I'm going to add this to the bag now so I can just get it off of the tray. You're always welcome to use something hotter too, but I'm more of a mild kind of person. Okay, I'm going to throw this up, the rest of this pepper away. Because I'm not going to use it in any near future meals. 
future meals in the near future. Okay. So I will wash the tray after I'm done slicing all my other stuff. I will wash the gloves. And I'm just going to slice everything else on the other side. So then I can see. That part's done. Okay, so next, let me make sure I have the recipe right. Okay, so next I am going to add the green chilies and the black beans and the corn and the garlic cloves. Oh, I need to grab those. Okay, so I already actually opened my corn and my black beans. Just peeling the garlic cloves. I'm going to use my mini food processor to chop them up. You can also just chop them by hand. Okay, so organic corn. Honestly, you just have to. Oh, I don't want the juice in there actually. You can use frozen corn or canned corn. And honestly, you just have to um, weigh the balance of buying things organic and sticking within your budget. I mean, everybody's going to have a different budget. But I mean, if you can't buy organic, it's not the end of the world. But a, lo a lot of clean eating is shopping with a conscience and shopping while being good to the environment and good to you and having things as close to their sources, their original sources as possible. So I just rinsed the beans in the can and then kind of held onto the lid. So I just added the organic corn. Oh, I didn't realize you guys couldn't see that. So I just added the organic corn. This is the organic black beans. I'm so excited for this milly, you guys. Okay, so next. So next I'm going to add the green chilies. I actually got, so they're supposed to usually be like the five ounce cans. This one's actually a seven ounce can. Or it's like five or six ounce can. So it's a little bit more than we probably need. You're supposed to do two of them. So I probably won't pour all of this one in. That will probably be plenty for me. Okay. And then, let's see. Make sure I have the recipe right. Okay. All right. So now I am going to, oh, I meant to put the spices in before that. Hold up. We can do that now. I am going to add the garlic. So yeah, if you're watching this tutorial, normally you're supposed to add like the garlic and onion powder before you put all that stuff in. I just totally forgot and I just go with the flow. <laughs> I'm not, it's not an exact science for me, for sure. Okay, so I just minced my garlic cloves. I'm just gonna need a just use the knife. Okay, 
That was pretty easy. Alright, and now I'm going to add the salsa. Since I did this out of order, I'm going to have to add like the garlic powder and all that stuff right now. So, um, first I need one teaspoon garlic powder. So it's technically supposed to be on the chicken. I can barely reach it, but in the chicken. One teaspoon onion powder. chili powder. I'm almost out of this, so basically the rest of it. Yeah, I don't know if I need to measure. Just barely enough. And I also need one teaspoon cayenne pepper. So you can use crushed or ground. I'm going to use ground. I'm actually adding a little bit less because it is pretty hot for me. And then you need a tablespoon of cumin. I will just have enough for this too. Yeah, perfect. Here's the perfect. <laughs> okay, so we're also going to add a fourth of a lime, so I got a new knife for this one. And these I will use, so. Oh man, you guys, this is going to be such a good meal. You can also use lime juice. I actually do not know how much lime juice replaces one-fourth of a lime. You could look it up. I'm sure it's like one teaspoon or something like that. Just look up how many teaspoons, teaspoons of lime juice is in a lime and then divide it by a fourth. Just rinse off the fingers. Okay, and the last thing I need is the chicken broth. So I'm using these bouillons again. And we only need 15 ounces, and there's 8 ounces to a cup. So, not even quite 2 cups, but we're still going to use 2 full cups. <laughs> So I'm putting two bouillons in there. Bouillons? Bouillons? I don't know how to say it. And then I'm just going to add my water to that. It's not going to be perfectly mixed in the bag, and that's okay. it's all going to just let's go into the crock pot anyway. But I am very excited for this meal, for sure. And that is everything, I think. Let me check the recipe. Yep. Oh, so and the other things that are on there are the green onion, 
and the cilantro and also salt and pepper. I actually like to salt and pepper it after it's cooked. Like I can just taste it and see if I need to add more salt or more pepper. And then the green onions are actually just for topping after. Oh man, you guys, this looks so good. It's going to be awesome. And just freeze it flat and you're done. Thanks guys. Bye.